Okay, Francis, so like I said, I brought a bunch of stuff for us today. Um, do you remember last week when I was here, I did yes. that checklist right. of yes. all the stuff you did and didn't have in the house? Right. Mm -hmm. Okay, there were quite a few things that you needed, um, but we're going to start with these few critical items today. Um, we talked about a calendar and how important that is, so we're going to put that up somewhere. Uh, you didn't have a lot of the hygiene supplies no, that you need, like mm -hmm. shampoo and soap and things. Mm -hmm. And then, uh, most importantly, we're going to work on medication, uh, maybe organizing it a little yeah. better than it is, mm -hmm. uh, and putting it in a container like I had talked about last week, okay? Okay. Is that all right? Yeah, that's right. Okay, so your medicines are in your bedroom? Yes, in my bedroom. Okay, why don't we go in there and we'll okay. start with the medicines and we'll come back and get this in a minute. Okay, Okay. Sure. All right. Okay, Francis. Um, so these are all your medicines here, right? Yes. Okay. Last week you told me that you missed taking your medication sometimes. Is that right? Yes, I missed taking my medications. About how uh, uh, frequently? Like uh, one or two. One to two times a week? A week, yes. Okay, mm -hmm. okay. So um, our goal we talked about uh, mm -hmm. was, was taking it all the time, right? Yes. Did you take some pretty important medicines at yes. night? Yes, yes I do. Uh, how often, how many times a day do you take medicine? In the morning and at night. Okay. Um, and are you missing like morning doses more or night doses more? The night doses more. The night doses are the one? Yes. Okay. And why do you think that is? Mm. Any particular reason? Do you forget or fall asleep or? Is Probably it? just fall asleep. Okay. Just fall asleep. What time do you normally take the morning medicine? Like around nine. Okay, nine o'clock, is that when you get up? Yes. Okay, and what time do you, are you supposed to take the night medication, or what time do you like to take it? Like at eight o'clock, so. 8 p.m., okay. Um, and is that about when you go to bed as well? Yes. Okay, where do you, right now I see you have a lot of um, medicines in um, mm -hmm. bottles. Right, yeah. Here that haven't been unpacked. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. is, so is this where you normally keep your medicine? Yes. Okay, I'm wondering if you think, um, I see some hiding over here. Is this is this a current one? Yes, ma'am. This is a current one too. Okay. Yes. Um, I'm wondering if you think we could organize it a little better or in a better place so that you don't um, so that you don't forget to take it. What do you think? Sounds like a good idea. That'd be okay. Yeah. Okay. So you're really you're, helps a lot. Okay. Um, I'm wondering. I saw that you have a little nightstand here. Mm. Uh, and you said that you're missing your night medication. Right. Would it be safe if we put the medicine there? If we set up the medication container there? Yeah, that'd be no good. No kids around. No kids. That would that would open it up. Okay. No. Um, and do you think that would help remind you before you go to bed to take the medicine if it was right there, really close to you? Yes, it would help a lot. That would work. Okay. Yeah. Well, I brought um, a medication container, mm -hmm. and I want you to look at it and see if this is going to be okay. The purpose of this one is to keep your AM and your PM medication uh, mm -hmm. organized and all in the same spot. So instead of having two different containers, we're going to put it in one just to keep it all together. That's Does that make sense? Yes. And that's okay with you? Yes, that's okay. Okay. I like that. Okay, good. I'm glad. Mm -hmm. So the AM medication is this kind of lavender color and the PM is um, blue. Kind of reminds me of evening, so mm -hmm. hopefully that'll help you. Um, why don't we take all the medicines you have? Uh, are these? Are you supposed to be taking these right now? Not right now. Not right now. Okay. Just these. Is just, it just these three. Just these three. These are your morning and your evening. Yes. Okay. Why don't we take these and um, sit down, and I can help you fill out the complete the, this container. Sure. Is that okay? Yeah. All right. You know, another thing I was thinking about that you mentioned last week, Francis, is that you weren't sure if your medications were working very well you were still having some voices some voices, voices. Yeah. okay yeah. Um, you know one of the things uh, I was wondering is if you were you, you just said you were missing a couple of doses every week right and right that's uh, probably the medication that would help the most right with the voices right so it might be that if you take them every day mm -hmm. that the voices do get better right yeah. so does that make sense yes it makes sense so then you'd be able to talk to your doctor about the symptoms I'm having and the and the voices that are, have have problems with or something. Right, and you can say if you have been taking your medicines every day, mm -hmm. then you can. Then I you can, can really know the tell them. know the difference. Yeah, from yeah. right or wrong. So that's also mm -hmm. a good idea for doing this, I think. Right. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and give these to you, okay. and then I'm just going to kind of watch you 
uh, fill this up or put the pills in. Mm -hmm. Okay. Let's see. You understand how this works? Let's mm -hmm. open all these up for you. Okay. So remember, this is the AM over here, the morning. You said your 9 AM dose? Right. Okay. And when is, you know how to do this? Okay. This is. That's for PM? Okay. Okay. Really? In it. Did you mean to miss that day, or is that an accident? Oh, that was, uh, I think that uh, was an accident. Okay, I'm going to put one in there. Yeah. Great. Let me just check the bottle really fast. Okay, this actually says twice a day, right? Right. So why don't we go ahead and, while you have the bottle, mm -hmm. why don't you go ahead and fill up the morning ones as well. Do you normally, are you normally in charge of all your own medication? Oh, yes, yes. One slipped out there if you mm -hmm. want to put it back in. Mm -hmm. So no one helps you, remind mm -hmm. you? No, okay. I, I okay. take the medications myself. Okay, you do the next one. Okay, okay so you you said this was an okay spot to put yes, your medication, good, right? Yeah, my night stand is a very good place to put my medications right there. Close to where you take them at, right? Morning right. and night. Okay. Yes. There's some stuff on here right now. We want to leave the alarm. That's your alarm. Right. We're gonna we're gonna work with that maybe in a minute. Um, what about this letter? Do you? No, I'm gonna move this out of the way. Okay. And um, is, that, is that okay? Yes. Okay. Maybe we can organize some of that later. Yeah. Um, okay. So we're gonna put this here. Mm -hmm. Now your extra medication. What we don't want to do is have you taking it from the bottles and from the medication container. Right. Because the reason you have the medication container is to see if you've taken it already that day. Right. Right. Um, so what would be a good place to store those bottles and maybe those extra bottles that you're not using? I have a, in the drawer, I have a bag here. A bag? Okay. I put them in here. And you can remember that you put them in there? Yes. Okay. All right. We'll put those in there. Looks like you have a few other bottles of medications in there as well. Are those... Yes. Older medicines that you don't need anymore? Older medicines I don't need anymore. Okay. So right in here. And maybe the extra ones that you have there that you mm. haven't started? Mm. Okay. So maybe we'll organize some of those other medications and yeah. maybe go through them at some point in time yes. and see what you need. Right. Are you hanging on to them for a reason? No, just have them there. Just have, are they pretty old, expired, or just not sure? Not sure. Okay, we'll, we'll go through those in a little bit. Um, so you said you take your medicine at 9 a.m.? 9 a.m., yes. And 8 p.m.? Right. Okay. You're mostly forgetting your, your p.m. medication. Yes. PM. What if we set an alarm for 8 p.m.? That sounds good. That sounds good. Yeah. You have, um, you have your alarm here. Right. You also, I know you mentioned using you your cell, cell phone, phone right. as an alarm last week. Right. Which would you prefer for your 8 p.m. medication? The... The alarm clock. You think you're going to set this one? Okay. Yeah. So we'll set this one, let's see here, mm -hmm. for 8 p.m. Mm -hmm. And it looks like it is, it just has the one alarm on here, okay. Mm -hmm. So we're going to go with this right now, and then if we need to set another alarm for the AM medication, yeah. we'll add that in later. Right now, mm -hmm. it seems like you've been taking that every day, okay. Right. And we're going to turn this on to start for tomorrow. Okay. Okay. All right. Um, another thing that I haven't talked to you about yet, but I wanted to ask if it was okay. Mm -hmm. Sometimes I found that people don't take their medicine um, when they keep it in their bedroom because mm -hmm. they don't have anything to drink. Mm -hmm. So I was wondering if we set up some bottles here, maybe underneath here and one on top, yeah. um, if that wouldn't make it even easier to take your medicine when you're, when you're in bed in the morning and in the evening. Sounds great. Does that sound like a good, yeah, okay idea? Good idea? Okay, so I'm gonna should put one up here on top and then I'm gonna leave a few below so when right. you run out, okay? Right. Okay. Okay. So it looks like you're set for tomorrow. All right. All or actually right. tonight will be the first day. Tonight, tonight yes. okay. And which one are you gonna take it out of tonight, Francis? Uh, tonight is mm -hmm. which one? This one. And tonight is uh, Thursday. Thursday p.m., right, mm -hmm. so you'll take it out of there. And then tomorrow morning, which one would you take? Uh, a Friday morning one. Friday a.m., okay, good. Go ahead and put that back down. Um, I also brought 
a sign uh -huh. that says, don't forget to take your medicine. Do you mm -hmm. think that would be helpful for you, or yes. do you want to try just the alarm first? Uh, the, the sign would help a lot, you too. Think, you think the sign as well? Yes. Okay, so maybe this will help with the morning one. Mm -hmm. um, where do you think you want to put it? Right here in the mirror. You want to put it on your mirror? Yeah, okay, yeah. let's get some tape then. Mm -hmm. So you mentioned putting it over here on the mirror. Mm -hmm. um, do you think you'll be able to see it from there? No, probably around this side right here. Like You think, yeah, you want you pick a spot there. Right here. And is this type of tape okay? Yes, it's sure. Yeah. Okay, let's do this double-sided like this. Is that going to hurt the wood at all? No. Okay. There's one, let's see, and then we'll do one more at the bottom. And so what we're doing here is just testing this out. We're going to see mm -hmm. if the alarm works, if the sign works. Mm -hmm. If it doesn't, we can always change it up next week. Okay. If you get to where you take them every single day and you don't want the medic this, this sign anymore, then we just take the sign down. Oh, okay. or we can, if it's not working, we might use a different color sign next time, okay? Okay, it sounds great. All right, anything else then for your medications? No, that's it. I think you're set. That's it. Okay. Um, well, then we brought some other things for today. Wow. We had some hygiene stuff uh -huh. and a calendar. Mm -hmm. um, you said you share your bathroom, right, right, with a roommate? Yes. Okay. Where do you want to keep the calendar? Your, your, well, where do you want to, we are going to talk about the calendar. Where do you want to keep your hygiene supplies? Do you want to keep them in your bedroom or in the bathroom? I'm not sure if you and your roommate share things. In my bedroom. You want to keep the hygiene stuff in, in here? In my bedroom. Yeah. Okay. I brought a little caddy, if you saw that. It's a little, called a little shower caddy. Oh, wow, that's cool. And so that's easy to take it Carry in there with around. you every yes, time. That, that's very helpful. And again, we there's some clutter up here. Where do you think would be a good space to keep your hygiene stuff? Mm. I gotta make some room right here and... Think you want it out on the on the on counter? Ca on the yeah, if we put it away, sometimes we forget probably about forget it. forget it. Yeah. Yes. Okay, well, why don't we clear a space here? Let's, let's talk about where some of these things can go then. Uh, these are the hygiene products that you were out of. Right, yes. Uh, it sounded like you were using mm, yeah. your roommate's stuff your roommate's. and it was causing some friction. Okay. Right. Um, first one is some body wash. Wow. What do you what do you use this for? Uh, to for my body. Your whole body, right? Body. Okay. And how often um, do you think you should use that? Mm, every day. Every day? Okay. That's gonna be the goal. Okay. Yes. I, it looks like you have some. I brought you deodorant. Were you, were you yeah, out? Yeah, I am out of deodorant. Yeah. Is that one empty? Yeah, this one's okay, empty. Okay, okay, we'll throw that on, on the way out. Okay. okay. So here's some uh, some new deodorant. And how often um, do you think you should be putting on deodorant? Every day. Every day, okay. Um, toothpaste. Let's take this out of the box. No reason to keep the box right now, huh? Mm -hmm. And uh, how often do you think you should probably brush your teeth? Every day. Okay, every day? Yes. Once a day, twice a day? What's the goal? Twice a day. Twice a day is the goal? Twice a day. That's pretty, it's pretty ambitious. I know before it was just a few times a week, right? A week, yeah. Okay, so we'll talk about that. Toothbrush? Mm -hmm. I know you had one, but it was pretty old. It seemed yeah. like it was a couple of years old, so yeah. I got you a new one, okay? okay. We'll throw these things out mm -hmm. when I leave. This is a scrubby. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, and do you know what this is used for? In my body, for a ticket bath, like a mm -hmm. sponge. Mm -hmm. and, and what do you put on here? Soap. The same body wash on it, right? Yeah. Okay, good, good. Okay, the other thing um, I brought, mm -hmm. and this is going to be up to you whether you want to use it, is a checklist for <laughs> your daily activities that we've been talking about. Mm -hmm. um, you've talked about going from taking a shower once or twice a week to, to every, day. every day. That's that's really <laughs> ambitious, um, mm -hmm. and I, I, I applaud that. What I would like to do is just this first week, just check off what you do. Mm -hmm. So the first one is taking your morning medication, and you've been right. doing really well on that anyway. Right. Uh, the next thing is taking a shower. Yes. Again, you're just going to check off when you do it. If you don't do it every day, that's mm -hmm. fine. Okay. okay. We'll work on that. Uh, brushing your teeth. Mm -hmm. uh, if you do it twice a day, you're welcome to check it off twice. I know oh. you've only been doing it a once, few times once. a week yeah. right once. now. Yeah. So just check it off when you do it. Mm. Washing the dishes. The reason I put that on there is because you had said that that was your chore that you're supposed to be doing. Right. But you yes. haven't really been doing very often. So yeah. I put the dishes on there. Mm -hmm. Again, just if you do it. And then taking your evening medication. Right. So yeah. the reason we do this is just to keep track. Kind of like the medication container. We're keeping right. track of what doses you're taking. Mm -hmm. On this and we're keeping track of which activities you're doing each day. Right. And then we'll look at this next week when I come back. Mm -hmm. And I'll bring a new one for the following week. Oh, okay. And we'll keep working on that, okay? Sounds great. Um, Francis, I'm wondering where you'd want to hang this. It's ideally we'd like to hang it up in a place where you can check, check it off. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and I know you're, you've got um, a lot of stuff on your walls in yeah. here. Yeah. Where about? do you think? 
right here. Just to cut this off. You want to take the card off? Yes. Be sure? Yes. Okay. And just put it right here. Okay. Well, let's get the uh, mm -hmm. some, tape. some tape again then, tape. and we'll put it right there? Yes. Does that work? Yes. Now, the only thing we're missing is a pin. Pin. And I brought some markers. You want to grab that marker? Mm -hmm. And what we'll do is I have some string in that, in that little kit there, mm -hmm. and I don't know what the screw's here for. Is it okay if we tie mm -hmm. a, yeah. a string to it and tie mm -hmm. a string to the pin, and then yeah. you can... Just you don't have to look for the pin anywhere, it'll right. be right next to it, okay? Right. Will that work? Yeah, that would okay. be really great. So let's do that then. All right. Sounds great. It's a good idea. Um, what have you done today so far? Did you take your medication this morning? Yes, I did. Okay, why don't you go ahead and mark it off and take the cap off. Mm. So do that one for today. There you go. Right here? Mm-hmm. It's Thursday. Have you taken a shower yet today? Yes. You took one for the visit? Okay. Yes. Good. Have you brushed your teeth yet today? No. Okay, so just check off only what you do okay. each day. And we'll take a look at it next week. Yes. Okay. All right. Okay, we have one more thing for today. I know okay. it's been a long visit. Um, mm -hmm. We have a calendar. I brought one. Now, I didn't see that you had one last mm -hmm. week when I was here. Mm -hmm. um, but it looks like it's on May. Right. Have yeah. you do you do you use it very much? Not that often, no. Not that much. Okay, and it's also really hard to get to right now. Yeah. Um, the reason we use calendars is to kind of keep track of our appointments, like appointments with me, mm -hmm. appointments at the clinic. I know you have to go yes. in pretty often, yeah. um, and keep track of some other things that you do. Yes. Mm -hmm. What do you think about using this calendar that I brought, kind of the bigger calendar? I think that would be very helpful because it's real big and you can see the numbers and all that and just write down what I need to go for my appointments and all that. Okay, so that's okay. Mm -hmm. um, where do you think, it, it's nice again to be able to write on it and be in a, in a location where you can actually use it. Mm -hmm. Where do you think would be a good spot and easy for you to write on and, and keep up with your appointments? Right right there in the, in the my wall right there. On the wall? On the wall? The door? The back, the door. All right, so you think this is the best spot? Yes, it's the best spot. Do you spot. not use this door? No, it's just a... Okay, so kind of at eye level, wherever you think you mm -hmm. right would here? work best. Yeah, it's good. It's already got the sticky stuff. Just go ahead and push it up there. Excellent. Okay, so what month are we in? August. Right, okay, so why don't we pull off the days. This takes you all the way through this year. Let's see here. Do you have any appointments coming up that you know of? Mm, that I know of, no. No? Do you have one at the center coming up? Oh, yeah, I think so. Okay. I don't know when, though. How are you going to figure out when that appointment is? I have to find my card. Oh, you got an appointment card? Yeah, they gave me an appointment card. Okay. Mm -hmm. Where do you think that might be? Mm, here. Oh, right here. Oh, that was good. Mm -hmm. Okay, when is your appointment? On the 15th. Okay, so that's uh, just next week then? Yes. Okay, so why don't you uh, write it on your calendar then? Okay. So you want to put your doctor? You know your doctor's name? Dr. Mercado. Okay. And what time is your appointment? At 10 o'clock. Okay. And then I'm also going to come back mm -hmm. on the same day okay. next week. So why don't you write my name, Natalie, in there. Mm -hmm. A-A-L-I-E. Good. And I got here about 1 o'clock today. Is that okay for next week? Yes, that's okay. great. One okay. So we'll probably make that our regular time so we can stay consistent, okay? Right. Okay, and Francis, why don't I have you write my number up there in okay. case you need me? Okay. okay. Um, would you write it up here somewhere? Five five five. 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 Twenty six. Twenty six. Eighteen. Eighteen. Okay. Okay. Sounds and great. You can have that in case you need me during the next week before okay. I come back. Okay. Okay. Sounds great. All right. Anything else that you have coming up? Any other appointments? No, that's all I can think of at the what moment. What do you think of right now? Okay. Yeah. All right, go ahead and put your pin cap back on. So this is kind of the same same thing we did over there with your checklist. Right. We like the pin to be right close to the calendar yeah. so we're never looking for one. Yeah. 
All right, very good. Well, we've done a lot today. Yeah, we've sure done did. hygiene stuff. Mm -hmm. We've done a lot of medication stuff. We've done the calendar. Mm -hmm. Do you have any questions about anything we've done today? No, I don't have any questions at all. It's very helpful. It helps okay. a lot. So next week, uh, when I come back, we'll review mm -hmm. the medication container and see how many days are missing. Mm -hmm. We'll review the checklist that we did and, mm -hmm. and see how that went. And then you'll have already been to your doctor by the time I see you next week, so right. I can ask you how that went. Sounds great. All right. Mm -hmm. Okay, anything else that, I, I have a few other items I'm gonna bring you next week. You were missing like a hamper and a few other things, and so I'll bring you a couple of new items next week as well, and, and we'll go over those. That sounds great. All right, thank you so much. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.